Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the bead stitch, which is the stitch that you see uh, here in front of you. Now the bead stitch is similar to a puff stitch, except that instead of working in the tops of your stitch down below, you're actually working around the post of the double crochet that you have just worked. So we're going to take a look at this very fun textured stitch here today and uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. So grab a hook and some yarn and let's crochet the bead stitch together. Now for our bead stitch today, if you are working this in the middle of your fabric, so in the middle of your pattern, you're going to need an even number of stitches to work with. Uh, but today for, as I'm starting from a foundation chain, I'm going to chain an odd number of stitches and I'm going to start with a chain of 23. So I'm going to make my slip knot and then chain 23 stitches. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and twenty-three. Now that last, those last three stitches are going to count as a double crochet stitch, and then I'm going to have an empty chain one. So to begin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work a double crochet stitch in the fifth chain from my hook. So I'm going to count in one, two, three, four, and then in that fifth chain, I'm going to work a double crochet stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into that fifth chain, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two more. Now that gives me a double crochet stitch at the beginning, which is my chain three, and then a chain one in between. I'm now going to work my first bead stitch. Now to work the bead stitch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to bring my hook around in front of the post of the double crochet that I just worked. I'm going to insert my hook around the back of the post of that double crochet stitch. I'm going to grab my yarn there, yarn over, and I'm going to draw up a loop. So bring a loop back in front of the post of that stitch. I'm going to do that for a total of three times. So that was the first time I'm going to do it again. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to reach in front and around back of the post of the double crochet stitch that I worked. I'm going to pick up my yarn and bring it back around front. You're then going to have five loops on your hook. You'll do that one more time. Yarn over. Bring your hook in front of that post and whip it around back. Pick up your yarn and bring your yarn back around front. You will then have seven loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over and you're going to pull that yarn through all seven loops. And that is your first bead stitch. Now to continue working these in a row, I'm going to skip the next chain and I'm going to work a double crochet stitch in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch and work a double crochet stitch. And then once again, I'm going to work a bead stitch. I'm going to yarn over, Bring my hook in front of the post of that double crochet stitch that I just worked. Work around the post, pull up a loop. I'll have three loops on my hook. I'm going to do that two more times, yarn over. Insert my hook around the post of the double crochet stitch I just worked. Yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook. Do that one more time. And once you have seven loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw through all seven loops. And that is your bead stitch. I'll show you one more time. You're going to skip the next 
chain stitch. In the next stitch, work a double crochet stitch. And now work a bead stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook around the post, yarn over and drop a loop. Do that three times. Yarn over and draw through all seven loops. Now you can continue to repeat that all the way down the length of your chain. Once you come to the end of your chain, you'll have two stitches left. You'll have worked your bead stitch. You're going to skip the next chain and you're going to finish that row by working one double crochet stitch. And then you will have one row of bead stitches. Now to work the bead stitches on the second row, you're going to chain three, which is a double crochet stitch. You're going to turn your work. You're going to skip that first stitch and then in the top of your next bead stitch, work a double crochet stitch. You can now work your bead around the post of that double crochet. Skip the next stitch. In the top of the next bead stitch, work a double crochet stitch, followed by a bead. You can continue that all the way down your to the end of your row and work a double crochet stitch in the top of that turning chain and then chain three, turn your work and you're all set to begin again. And that's all there is to working the bead stitch. So thank you so much for joining me on this stitch tutorial on how to work the bead stitch. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out some of my other videos and stitch tutorials. Thank you so much and happy crocheting. Until next time, see you later.